pi minus pi by 2 to 2 pi plus pi by 2 as well. In fact, you can try for 4 pi, 6 pi, minus 2 pi and so on. But Hello everyone, myself Shweta Shah and uh, we are, uh, we have already done a topic in uh, mechanics. That's a topic, uh, that's a subject in your UPSC mathematics afternoons. We have a combined subject mechanics and fluid dynamics. So I have already discussed uh, movement of inertia. Uh, in few simpler cases, we have discussed how to find movement of inertia and now how those concepts will be required in some questions. We'll see that today. Let's start with this question. Question number one, show that moment of inertia of a parabolic area cut off by an ordinate at a distance h from the vertex is this about the tangent at vertex and 4 by 5 mah about the axis. So, what we have here is show that moment of inertia of a parabolic area. Let us draw a parabola. This is a parabola, y square is equals to 4x. So, because it says, it says a parabolic area. So, I can take any parabola. I have taken a very simple parabola, y square is equals to 4x. It is cut off by an ordinate. Obviously, they are talking about a parabolic area. So, I need to bound the area and the area is bounded by an ordinate, which is at a distance of h from the vertex. So, from the vertex, that means... this this is the vertex 0 comma 0 and we have a ordinate which is at a distance h from your vertex okay what else at a distance h from the vertex is this about the tangent at the vertex see tangent at the vertex is this y axis so we have to find about this y-axis. Now, first of all, we have to calculate area of this uh, region because now we do not have a standard uh, area. Uh, for example, area of the rectangle, area of circle, uh, area of uh, surface area or volume of sphere, volume of parallel pipe, rectangular parallel pipe. So those we have done. But now this is the area. First of all, you have to find area with the help of double integration so with the help of double integration i'll start by taking a strip here so first calculate we will calculate area of this region area of this region how so this is with parallel to y axis, this is dy, dx, 1 and y is plus minus 2 root ax. So it is minus 2 root ax and it is 2 root ax, right? And x is from 0 to h x is from 0 to h and y is from minus 2 root ax so this is um 4, 4 I can take outside, so this, this will win. This was x is equals to 0 to h. We have 2 minus minus, uh, 2 minus minus 2, so 4 uh, root a, x raised to the power 1 by 2 dx. So, 4 root a outside, x raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. 
तो दिस एक्स इज नॉट थ्रू बट एच रेस टू पार थ्री बाय टू तो इट इज एट बाय थ्री रूट ए एच रेस टू दावर थ्री बाय दिस इज एरिया आफ्टर दिस एरिया नाउ आई कैन टॉक अबाउट मास पर यूनिट एरिया देर फॉर मास पर यूनिट एरिया इज कैपिटल एम थ्री कैपिटल एम डिवाइड बाई एट रूट ए एच रेस टू दी पावर थ्री बाय टू सो वट विल बी मास ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिप मास ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिप विल बी वट इज एरिया तो फॉर एरिया लेट मी टेक इट एट अ डिस्टेंस एक्स विद ब्रेथ डेलिक्स एंड दिस इज लेट्स ए एक्स कॉम वाई सो दिस इज वाई ऑब्वियसली देन दिस विल बी x comma minus y. <coughs> so it implies mass of mass of mass of strip mass of strip will be three m by eight. रूट ए एच रेस टू पार थ्री बाय टू एंड सो मास पर यूनिट एरिया एंड एरिया ऑफ दिस इज डेल एक्स टू बाय इन टू डेल एक्स लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ देर फॉर आई कैन नाउ फाइंड अच्छा नाउ दिस इज अ स्ट्रिप स्ट्रिप Uh, can be considered as a simple rod, and we are trying to find it with respect to. Ah, uh, this is with respect to at a distance of a tangent at the vertex. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So x is the distance from that uh, y axis because we are finding moment of inertia with respect to y axis. So the distance is x. Therefore, moment of inertia of Trip uh, with respect to yeah about about y axis is three m yeah six m y divided by eight root a h raised to power three by two and this is del x and distance is x. Mass m r square. It implies moment of inertia of parabolic area in concentration about y axis is equal to. <coughs> This y is uh, dependent on x, so that that is not a constant. Other things I can. Take outside three m by four root a h raised to the power three by two integration x square. <coughs> What is y? Y is a root of four. So that is two outside. Or root a is also outside x. So this will become x cube dx and. uh limit of the x is from 0 to h this is from 0 to h okay acha just a second that was root x sorry 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 that was root x 2 plus 1 by 2 that will be 5 by 2. so this is 3 by 2 this on this cancel Three by two m x raised to the power three by two. What x? Yeah, x raised to the power seven by two divided by seven by two. So this is three m x square by seven. This was exactly what we wanted to prove. Three by seven m x square. Three by seven m x. 
this one. Easy. Next, uh, about the tangent at vertex, and this is the moment of inertia about the axis. So about the axis of the parabola is x-axis. So the change would be obviously mass will be same. So this is mass of the cell. Hmm. This is the mass. But now I can directly find moment of inertia. See, a rod. This is the strip is the rod can can be considered as a rod, and the line is passing through the center of uh, that rod. It is passing through the center of the rod. So now, uh, and that is what m a square by three, where a was half the length of the rod. Here the length of the rod is two uh, y, so now that will be y. So m y square by three. For the next part, for the next part, we already have, we already have mass of strip is equal to mass of strip is equal to three m by eight root a. H raised to the power three by two, and this is two by del x. So what will be moment of inertia? It implies moment of inertia about x is about x is not. So about x is, is mass. Eight root a h raised to power three by two, and what is uh, what was the length? Length was two y. Half of that is y. Y squared by three. So y squared by three. That is the. This is the result I have used directly. Okay. Now three and three is cancelled. Yes, cancel on four. So it is m y cube divided by four. Root a h raised to the power three by two dx. This is your moment of inertia about the axis. Now all you need to do is you need to integrate it. So integration of therefore moment of inertia of parabolic area about about axis is m. M divided by four root a. M divided by four root a. H raised to power three by two. Y cube. So we have y cube dx. Or limit would be. This is with respect to x. So again. So again, it is x is equal to zero to h because in that area, x is from zero to h. So this will be x raised to the power m by four root a h raised to power three by two. This is two. That means eight a raised to power three by two and Zero to h, x raised to power three by two. That will become x raised to power five by two divided by five by two. So this is x is equal to zero to h. Check it. Two or this is cancelled. So we left with four m a raised to a. And divided by five, h raised to power three by two, and here h raised to power five by two. So four by five m a. That is your second part. Four by five. Four by five m a. Next.
Let's see one more question. Find the moment of inertia of r square is equals to a square cos 2 theta. So, in a double and triple integration, uh, you might have seen this. Also, you should know some standard equations in the polar form also. So, this you might have seen in a double and triple integration in terms of uh, double integration in polar coordinates. Okay. So, you must know these basic structures. If not, I can, we can draw that also, no problem at all. So, r square, first of all, r square is equals to a square cos square theta, now cos 2 theta. Here, obviously, r square is greater than or equals to 0, which implies a square cos 2 theta is greater than or equal to 0, which implies cos 2 theta is greater than or equal to 0. So, cos is greater than 0 in this domain. This is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Right? So, if cos theta is greater than 0 here, so 2 theta belongs to this domain. 2 theta belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, which implies, which implies theta belongs to minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. Right? But uh, why I have taken uh, that uh, 2 theta in this domain? If I decide uh, to have the range, if, if I give a range or uh, definite range to my theta, this 2 theta uh, can belong to 2 pi minus pi by 2 to 2 pi plus pi by 2 as well. In fact, you can try for 4 pi, 6 pi, minus 2 pi and so on. But again, theta needs to be in a, in a, in a uh, complete um, circle. That means if I decide it from minus pi to pi, so <clears throat> I can take also let it be 1. Also, 2 theta can belong to 2 pi minus pi by 2 to 2 pi plus pi by 2. In that case, your theta will belong to 3 pi by 4, comma 5 pi by 4. This is also a possibility. But you cannot take for 4 pi. Okay, you can try for 4 pi, 4 pi minus pi by 2 to 4 pi plus pi by 2. But uh, theta will go outside the decided range. So, the, those values of uh, uh, the 2 theta will <clears throat> uh, we don't want that. Okay, that that will not offer interest. So from one, you can see we have r square is equals to a cos two theta. So this is minus pi by four to pi by four. So in that range, your cos two theta will be like this. Okay, and in this one, in second one. This is 3 pi by 4. This is 5 pi by 4. So, here it will be like this. So, if you combine them, you will get up. This is also called lemon skate. It is actually uh, identical, symmetric about that y axis. So, <clears throat> pi by 4, 5 pi by 4. And this will be minus pi by 4 and this will be 3. Okay. Now, uh, here we have to consider an element. Okay. So, see carefully how to uh, take that element in the polar coordinates. So, at a distance r away, I'll take a small element. It will be like curl. This is the element we have taken. Now, see this carefully. This is the distance r. And this is the distance del r, okay, like the small distance. And this is a very small angle, del theta, this is theta. So, you'll see, if angle made by that small area in the, in the center is del theta and this is del r, so what will be the length of the r? This is a very small element, so I can, I can consider this to be a rectangle, but 
that r what is the length of the r l is equals to r theta class 11th length of the r is equals to r theta so <clears throat> so this is going to be r is the uh, length and the angle subtended is del theta so length of this is r del theta in this r and this is del r so i can consider like this is the element in which this is this is del r and this is r del theta so what will be the area of this so we'll consider an element of area consider an element of area r del r del theta okay so to calculate this to calculate area of the complete because again this is not a standard object for which i know the area so i have to calculate area here so area is uh, <coughs> area i can calculate for only this one root you can try for these limits hai na 5 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 this this is the 3 uh, pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 this is the limit you can try you can uh, take the element over here exactly the same so you will get just two times this so <coughs> so uh, i can try uh, with this uh, uh, i can just multiply two and let's try to find area of this so area is in in cartesian coordinate it is calculated as double integration 1 dx dy but because this is in polar coordinate so that dx dy will be r dr d theta so we can calculate area and this will be two times integration theta is from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 and Theta is from minus pi by four to pi by four, and r is from. Hmm. Now this is area, na? So r square is a square cos two theta. So r will be from zero to a root cos two, and this is r dr d. cos 2 theta so it's so independent of r it can be outside this is 2 minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 and it is r square by 2 so this 2 cancels and r square is a square cos 2 theta d theta so yeah this can be integrated directly sin 2 theta so that will be A square, acha. Because this this is even function of theta, cos is an even function. I can make it from zero to a uh, pi by four. So two a square zero to pi by four, cos two theta d theta. So z two a square sine two theta divided by two, and theta is from zero to pi by four. Pi by four. This is pi by two. This is area is a square. Total area. Total area is a square. So what will be mass per unit area? So mass per unit area would be capital M by is capital M by is. This is mass per unit area. So what is now mass of element is? mass of this element is this is area so mass per unit area and the area is r del r now first part first part is we have to find uh, its moment of inertia about its axis so about its axis means about x this is the uh, axis of this uh, figure r square is equal to a square cos theta so what is distance as you can see from here from here 
what is the perpendicular distance to this x? This is theta and this length is r, this is theta. So definitely this is r sin theta. So that is the distance. So now the first part <coughs> motion uh, and hence. Hence, movement of inertia of element with respect to x is m by a squared r del r del theta r sin theta which this is the distance whole squared so m by a squared r cube sin square theta del r del theta So, what will be moment of inertia of the whole area? It implies moment of inertia of whole area. Take your whole figure, whole body is double integration with respect to r with respect to theta. And also, uh, this also will be multiplied by 2 because. Uh, uh, considering both the loops, okay, because we have con just considered one side uh, of the loop, element in the one area. So, I can now multiply it with 2. So, this will be 2 times, let me take constant outside, 2m divided by a square, divided by a square and double integration. Then we have r cube sine square. So, r cube sin square theta dr d theta and what about limits in the limits i can have uh, r from say 0 to a root a root cos 2 theta right and theta is from theta is from minus pi bar 4 to pi bar minus pi by 4 pi bar so how to do this this is simple r is to power 4 by 4 so 2m r is to power 4 by 4 4 i have already taken outside so right since theta is equals to minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 and r is to power 4 by 4 4 and sine square. So sine a raised to the power 4 outside and this will be cos square 2 theta d theta. Again, this is what? This is we are left with the sine square also. Even function? Even function of theta, I can take this from m a square to cancel a square cancel. This is from z zero to pi by root. Zero to pi by four and cos square to theta sine square theta. Whenever you have uh, integration of sine power cos power and they are in multiplication try to think about beta gamma function because that's the easiest way to solve these kind of integration but obviously there are so many things first of all limit should be from 0 to pi by 2 and this should not be 2 theta so what what i can do here is um i can change sine theta sine square theta in terms of cos 2 theta we have a formula what was the form formula is cos 2 theta is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square theta to sine square theta is equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2. This is m a square 0 to pi by 4. It is cos square 2 theta and sine square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 d theta. Check it. Now, ma square by 2. 
तो एम ए स्क्वायर बाय टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू पाइव एस फोर एंड लेट्स मल्टीप्लाई दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज कॉस स्क्वायर माइनस कॉस क्यूब कॉस स्क्वायर टू थीटा माइनस कॉस क्यूब टू थीटा डी राइट नाउ पुट टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू टी डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू डी टी बाय टू तो लिमिट्स वुड बी थीटा बाय टू वेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो टी जीरो वेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाय फोर थीटा इज फाइव बाय टू एंड नाउ यू गेट दी फॉर्म इन विच यू कैन अप्लाई That beta gamma function. So this is m a square by two theta is uh, sorry t t is equals to zero to pi by two. This is cos square t d t minus zero to pi by two. cos cube t d ठीक है what is formula formula is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to the power p जीरो टू फाइव बाय टू साइन रेस टू दी पावर पी थीटा कॉस रेस टू दी पावर क्यू थीटा डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू गामा ऑफ पी प्लस वन बाय टू गामा ऑफ क्यू प्लस वन बाय टू एंड टू टाइम्स गामा ऑफ पी प्लस क्यू प्लस टू बाय है ना दिस इज द फॉर्म नाउ यू अप्लाई This is m e square by four, and it is so gamma of one by two, gamma of one by two, gamma of three by two, two times gamma of two, and this is minus. Gamma of is three, so gamma of one by two, four by two, two times gamma of five by two. <clears throat> that would be m e square by eight root pi. Three by two is one by two root pi. Divided by one minus root pi. Come on, this one to outside. Three by two dot one by two root. M a square by eight pi by two minus four by three. This is m a square. Pi by sixteen minus one by six is your answer. Okay. Now movement of inertia. Uh, this this was your first part. In the second part, what we'll do is see about the line through zero zero and perpendicular to the x. So about a line passing through zero zero and perpendicular to the x. This is just y axis. So, what will be the change? The change will be only while finding the distance from the line because la line is now y-axis. So, about y-axis, about y-axis, this is going to be the distance, and this is what this is r cos theta. So, so moment of inertia of the element with respect to y-axis here it will be r cos theta pulls. That's the only difference. ठीक है तो मूवमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी ऑफ एलिमेंट फॉर द सेकेंड पार्ट 
for the second part movement of inertia of element about about oy is m by e square r del r del theta and this is r cos theta full stop now again you have to do integration therefore moment of inertia of moment of inertia of given body about oy is theta minus pi by 4 pi by 4 and <clears throat> this will also be multiplied by 2 and r from 0 to a root cos 2 theta m by e square r r cube cos square theta dr d so using the same you can find out this integration okay all the all the uh, formulas that i have applied everything exactly same solve it only difference would be uh, it, this answer was m a square pi by 16 minus 1 1 by 6 so this will be after solving this is m a square pi by 16 plus 1 by 6 okay and the last one is see this is your rigid body with respect to x you have answer with respect to y and this is a plane figure and in the third part they are asking obviously about z axis about the line through 0 0 and perpendicular to its plane so about the line passing through 0 0 and perpendicular to its plane so this is z axis x axis we know y axis we know so iz using using perpendicular axis theorem this theorem i have discussed in my last video so uh, perpendicular axis theorem iz is equals to ix plus iy and what is this this is m a square pi by 16 minus 1 by 6 plus m a square m a square pi by 16 plus 1 Answer right. So we are left with m a squared pi by a, and that is your answer. So these are the questions that you can see in your exam. Right. That's it. That's it for today. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you so much.